Welcome to this welding module on touch sensing. In this module, you'll explore how to use touch sensing to do a one-directional search with a FANUC robot, an offset of the robot's programmed path. We'll explore touch sense fundamentals, touch sense commands, and break down a touch sense program. This background information is essential to complete your touch sense lab work. Let's start with exploring what is touch sensing. A touch sensing routine consists of search instructions to locate an object and offset instructions to displace programmed positions. Touch sensing is a low cost, software based system. It works by using energized weld wire to make contact with the part and record its current position. This position is compared to the position of a mastered part to define an offset. The robot applies this change of the positional data to offset the weld path. All touch sensing instructions are used to implement the touch sensing programming. There are four touch sensing instructions. Search Start, Search End, Touch Offset, and Touch Offset End. Search Start instructions indicate where the search motion begins. It assigns the touch schedule that will be used during the search and the position register where the positional information will be stored. Each search start must have a search end. In the search start, the first bracketed number represents the touch schedule number, 1 to 32, and the second number represents the position register where the positional information from the search is stored. Search end instruction stops the search. It's important to end a search start properly by using search end in your program. Touch offset instruction indicates where the position shift begins in the program. The shift amount is determined by the information in the specified position register. The shift amount is generated by the search routine. Touch offset end instruction indicates where the position shift ends. It's important to properly end a touch offset by using touch offset end in your program. Otherwise, all the motion afterward will be affected by the touch offset position register. In addition to the proper use of the touch sensing instructions, the touch sense schedule must be properly configured. A touch schedule is a series of conditions that control how the search motion is completed. 32 touch schedules are available. You access touch schedules from the data menu. There are two screens associated with touch schedules. The Schedule screen and the Detail screen. The Schedule screen allows you to view and set limited information for nine schedules at one time. Detail allows you to view and set the complete information for a single schedule. Note, there are 19 variables in each touch schedule. An explanation of each setting can be found in the FANUC ARC Tool Manual 19.3.4. We will be using the default settings for each with the exception of the following. Master Flag, Search Pattern for a 1D Search, and Pattern Type. Master Flag enables the search routine to be used as a mastering routine that generates position offset information. If set to on, 
When the search routine is executed, the touched positions are recorded as the reference positions to be used by future searches. This flag must be set to off after the master search is completed in order to generate position offset information on the objects to be searched. The first time the program is executed, the part must be mastered. For a 1D search, the search pattern should be set to fill it. The pattern type should be set to 1D shift. Here is an example of a one directional search. These are the same commands used in each of the lab assignments. Line 1, position 1, is an approach point. Line 2 is the search start instruction. This search start is using search schedule 1 and is storing the offset distance in position register 3. Line 3, position 2 is the starting position for the search. Line 4 is a programmed point in the same position as the previous point. This point defines the search direction. In this case, the search is in the positive Y direction. Line 5 is the end of the search. Line 6 is the intermediate point or points required to move the robot from the search to the area of the program where the search will be applied. Line 7 is the touch offset instruction. All subsequent points will be offset by the distance stored in position register 3. Lines 8 through 11 are the weld joint. These positions are offset by the distance stored in position register 3. Line 12 is an offset AND instruction. This command discontinues the application of the offset. In this module, you explored how to use touch sensing to do a one-directional search with a FANUC robot, an offset of the robot's programmed path. You've completed this welding module on touch sensing.